Welcome back for today's Weather Wednesday. We're talking about weather basics and while you might already know what they are, pressure systems are very important for how meteorologists forecast the weather. Here's our Kelsey Emery to explain. Have you ever looked at a weather map on TV or elsewhere and wondered why are there so many icons on it? Well, all of those are pressure systems which are present across the country and across the world at any given time. These systems help describe different weather patterns and even tell us what type of weather we can expect. Let's start off with high pressure systems or that big blue H on our maps. In high pressure systems, air flows down and out of the center. Because of this downward motion, it keeps all the moisture down and usually gives us the pleasant and dry weather conditions. Shifting gears now to the other pressure system on the map, that is a low pressure system or a big red L. Low pressure systems are often an indicator of changing weather conditions. That's because air moves inward and upward along with the low pressure system. This allows moisture to rise and eventually creates clouds. If the clouds are given enough time and enough moisture, they can grow big enough to create some storms. When you look at maps, you can also see frontal systems. Most frontal boundaries are tied to low pressure systems. Fronts on a weather map indicate a lot of things, mostly temperature change and even wind changes. A warm front, the red ones with these half circles, represent an area of warm air moving into a colder one and are typically found on the eastern side of a low pressure system. Cold fronts are the blue ones with the triangles on it, represent a colder area of air moving into a warmer one and can be found on the southern or even western side of a low pressure system. Most of the time we see rain and storms associated with these cold fronts as they force air to rise quickly, which creates the perfect environment for severe storms, much like we did last night.